are back along with the man from Mars. Now, we actually did bring a Martian down here tonight for you. Uh, we do it a couple times a month, just uh, in the spirit of uh, interplanetary uh, brotherhood and, well, not to leave anyone out, sisterhood or any of those other people either, I guess. Uh, but uh, we don't know if they're like that on Mars. What amuses me most about Mars is the number of pictures from the Curiosity rover that have come back that are unquestionably evidence of intelligent life. Unquestionable. And yet they kind of pretend, like, yeah, James, you don't know for sure. Don't need to. When you start seeing right angles and uh, porches and uh, low walls and uh, God only, uh, so many things, it's silly. All the trees, all the vegetation. They put this thing in one of the driest craters they could find, and what they found all over, strewn all over the crater, uh, here and there, are obvious pieces of was what was once a great, a great and advanced civilization. At least it as advanced as ours. And uh, now they know that it had uh, oceans over what, two-thirds of the planet, huge oceans, a mile deep. Where did it go? What happened? Something may have happened. Might might have been connected to the Valles Marineris, that enormous Grand Canyon that's like a thousand times bigger than ours, uh, obviously hit by a tremendous meteorite, which may have ignited something and caused uh, the planet to lose most of its water. It, we don't know. But talking about dry ice there uh, being used to support uh, people, I'm sure people could go to Mars, colonize it, but what would they do? They'd trash it like they did this one. So I... Not particularly for it, although I am curious. How the hell are you? Well, you know, of course there's intelligent life on Mars. That's why eventually there'll probably be uh, a revolution similar to the American Revolution uh, against the British Empire for colonizing the New World. Uh, you know, the, the Martian col uh, colonies will rebel against the Earth yeah. Authority. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they very, they very well and, might. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> that there's life on Mars. What I wonder about it is intelligent life on the Earth. <laughs> Not, oh. it's, uh, well, it's diminishing. I, they, they, I, I don't see much support for that. No, it's diminishing. Did you see some of these pictures? Did you see the picture of the two human forms, humanoid forms? Oh, they might have been seventy-five feet away. Uh, bend over something. They were—I don't know what they were doing, but they were doing something. Just obvious human forms, obvious, and they didn't have breathing apparatus on. I think you can breathe on Mars. Yeah, I think I think a lot of what we believe <clears throat> is not necessarily true. When I was a young guy in the fifties, we were told the moon was just a dead object, oh, just yeah. a rock. It didn't no. have any atmosphere. It didn't have any magnetic field. Uh, you know, blah, 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 and, we, and all that turned out to be malarkey. There's water on the moon. It has a thin atmosphere. It's got a thin but nevertheless present uh, magnetic field, you know. So most everything we were taught about the moon has turned out not to be true. Correct. And uh, Mars, way worse. Same um, deal. Uh, Mars, it's worse. But remember worse. how they tinted the sky to make it look dusty red? Yeah, yeah. Total lie, it's blue like ours. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Well, anyway, if you don't, well, you got to you got to keep the population uh, pregnant and barefoot and in the kitchen, you know. And, so, well, and, so and they don't get out of hand. Dumber than ever, and they are. Yep. And then yep. if they do get to be a problem, you just take them out with a little bio weapon that's sitting on the shelf right now, mm -hmm. uh, ready to go. So I just wonder when they're going to do that. They don't need seven billion people on this planet. They really don't. Uh, they could get away with uh, half or, or less and be perfectly fine. So uh, we'll see what's... We'll, they're, we'll they're just, see. you know, they actually tried that <clears throat> in the 1940s. <laughs> but they were a little bit too obvious about it. <clears throat> yeah. A lot of people got upset. Yeah. And so we had World War II. Uh, I think uh, that taught them a lesson. So today, uh, you know, they're trying to figure out how to get rid of uh, all but about 500 million of us. And, uh, but do it in such a way can, that, that we can't turn around and say, look what those Nazis well, are doing. Plausible deniability. Yeah. It, it'll, it, the best way, the easiest way is for some terrible organism to have mutated, <clears throat> mutated, yeah. Yeah. uh, and it's got a 90% mortality rate and it just wipes, uh, wipes out a lot of people. That's the way they're going to have to do some it. In my new view. type of bird flu, you know, so that the birds it's, fly around so and close. spread it we're, everywhere. One or two recombinations away from uh, the docking mechanism 
uh, on cells uh, in the human body, and it's we're off to the races. It's that close. We really are that close. Yeah. And, uh, and for anybody that's listening that thinks, oh, yeah, well, maybe, surely they're not stupid enough somebody would actually try to produce something like that, much less They've already done it. use it. I, I would simply remind everyone that uh, at the Manhattan Project, when they set off the first atomic bomb in Alamogordo, New Mexico in 1945, more than half the scientists involved sincerely believed that once they set off a nuclear chain they reaction, did, they, they might not be know. able to stop it, That's and right. it would incinerate the entire atmosphere and burn up the Earth. But they set did it, it off stop anyway. Them? Set off anyway. Did it stop them? No. No. Nope. They set it off anyway. Well, I'm sure glad we weren't right about that one. <laughs> wow. That's, well, uh, hey, I don't know about you, Jeffy, but uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that as we talk here and as the audience is listening. <clears throat> somewhere buried deep in a secret classified underground laboratory, uh, they're tampering with the basic building blocks of the of universe. life and the universe. Yeah. Uh, they, they've got the whole gene map done. We know that. Uh, yeah. they, can, they can tweak anything they want. Well, they've announced that. If they announce something, that means they had it done oh, about done. 20 years ago. Exactly. Oh, the latest announcement was that we're probably within two years of doing a, a head transplant. Right. They've done head transplants. What they're going to try and do, though, is make them viable. Big new business. Your body wears out. Transplant your head. Right. Jim Mars with an Arnold Schwarzenegger body. I mean, what could be more appealing? <laughs> the problem is I still have my same old face. No, they got cosmetic surgery. Oh, I guess that's true. Don't worry. They do. Oh, they did face transplants already. They've actually done that with people. I know. They put mine up on that on the Sidonia region of Mars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I keep hearing about a, a face on Mars. Yeah, I'm looking at a a real good uh, video. Hold on here. Let me see. Oh, it's just sound effects. I'll put this up. It says, the video is called, This is Mars 2015. And uh, very interesting. A lot of good scenes of, uh, shall we say, anomalous objects. <laughs> huh? I love shouldn't that be term. there. I love yeah, that term. Yeah, anomalous. Come on. <laughs> That's the WTF of scientific lingo. It's true. It's true. Oh, uh... Gosh, I, I wish I could show you some of the stuff I had. I don't have anything like you have, but someday I should make a trip. i got to come out and visit you. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I will. I want to see your, your your keepsakes. I've got some things, a few things I'm real proud of, and not a lot that kind of assembled. And One of them is an autographed picture of Mr. Laurel and Mr. Hardy. Oh, and, how cool. Uh, yeah, very, very cool. And I, I got a... An autograph, the uh, the Three Stooges. The hardest Three Stooge autograph to get is Curly. Right. Very few Curlies. And uh, I was able to find one of those. So, Have you got a page from the original Gutenberg Bible? Nope, but that's something I imagine you do. I do. Yeah. In fact, uh, I was visiting at the Gutenberg Museum in Mainz, Germany, years and years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, since I was a uh, journalist from America, they've mm -hmm. given me the the uh, royal treatment. And so the little guy took me in the basement where they had the original Gutenberg press. Really? And he got out oh. a piece of paper, and he rolled the ink all over it, and then he moved that thing, and he printed me a page from the Gutenberg Bible off the original Gutenberg press. Oh, my. Is that cool or what? That is really wild. And you've got that, uh, oh, they have glass now for uh, picture frames that it's, they call it museum uh, glass, and it's 99% uh, UVA protective, and it will not harm in any way, well, virtually, in any way, the uh, the artifact that's under right. the glass, yeah. museum oh, that's glass. That's great. I probably ought to get something like that. You, you, you should. Oh, no, you should. Yeah. Hey, I just yeah, yeah. put it in a frame, hung it on the wall. Good for you. Well, that's uh, that's a special thing. Well, you deserve it. You got some other special things. I, I'm sure. I, 
people who un- appreciate and understand what we had on this country, on this planet, uh, usually do have some interesting things. Well, I got stuff that uh, it serves a dual purpose. Uh, I have uh, I have an old antique ice box that's just in excellent condition. That oh, serves, really? Serves pretty well as a as a bar. You know? oh, yeah. Sure. And and uh, and I've got a spinning wheel. <laughs> no, yeah. those are those are wonderful heirlooms. Absolutely. Well, wonderful. It, it makes for an interesting conversation piece that by the fire stone fireplace, you know. But yeah. but yeah. if if I need to, we can, we can spin yarn on it, and make cloth and so thing, you know. And I, I have a, a butter you mean, churn. You mean I have a butter churn can. that sat on the porch for a long time, which uh-huh. you know kind of gives it a rustic, cool look, and yet it worked. If I had to, if I had to churn butter. I could. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I just, I'm just one of these who I don't see the sense in having something if you can't use it. I don't have anything in my house that I wouldn't feel comfortable putting my feet up on, you know? Nice. Very but nice. that's, hey, that's just me. I understand a lot of people want to live in a museum and, you know, nothing can be out of place and don't put your feet on anything. Oh, there's those, are, yeah, those homes, works of art. They're art, they're not uh, homes. Yeah. And uh, Architectural Digest, you can see these, you know, people are afraid to sit on the couch. Don't mess yeah. it up. Yeah. Uh, I know, I mean, in my years as a, journalist and a reporter i mean i can't even begin to count how many guys offices i've been in you know all the way from you know the the huge bank building all the way down to the grubby little storefront sure and uh the thing i learned right away is the guy with a perfectly clean neat desk probably isn't doing anything <laughs> nothing <laughs> nothing at all okay let's see i'm going to send this over to you i'll post it for all you folks too with the night batch of news uh, this is Mars 2015. Where do you find that? I don't know how I found it. I just no. I mean, it. where do where would somebody find it if they're oh, looking you, for it? YouTube, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Okay, I see. I was at your website. No, it'll be up there a little later. But I I just sent it to you. Uh, yeah, it's on uh, YouTube. And man, is some of the stuff on the ground. And remember, this crater was supposed to be devoid of anything. I'm sure they landed there with the idea that they wouldn't have to worry too much about right. stuff being seen. But my goodness, are there some things there that just don't belong there, folks. Yep. Perfect blocks, cubes. Uh, obviously, they're uh, relics of a, a civilization that was blown to pieces somehow, uh, some way. We don't know. But, uh, yeah, water all over the place on Mars. Life, probably life underground, uh, probably a lot of it. We don't know. Anyway, fun stuff. I think, uh, <clears throat> to me, what this is more and more proving is that the ancient tablets, uh, the cuneiform tablets of the uh, Sumerian civilization, which predates the Bible by thousands of years, predates the Egyptians by thousands uh-huh, of years, uh-huh. and they read all about this, and they talked about uh, other worlds, <clears throat> and uh, they talked about <clears throat> uh, basically interstellar warfare <clears throat> and i think that these far from being the myth that you'll find detailed even in the encyclopedia britannica i think you'll find that these are maybe uh, somewhat truthful accounts of something that had happened uh to on this planet thousands of years ago before our recorded history before the great flood uh, Before this recorded history, okay, look, yeah. let's 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 be honest now. What do we got? We have a society, a civilization of people that is being dumbed down and set up for a massive slaughter. They're going to get rid of most of the people on the planet, and those that are left over are going to be dumb. We've done this, I think, thousands of times. 